Kohl's is an omni-channel retailer that sells apparel for men, women, children, along with houseware, accessories, and toys. It has been in business for 50 years and is ranked number three behind TJ Maxx and Macy's. Kohl's is a publicly traded company and its revenues for the last three years have been relatively flat, hovering around $19 to $20 billion a year. Kohl's has three problems. Number one, not attracting or winning millennial customers aged 18 to 34. Number two, there are no differentiated store-in-store -store experiences enticing customers to return weekly to shop. Number three, Kohl's social media channels are not targeting millennials and have a low follower count versus its competitors. Millennials want to feel welcome and valued when they go shopping in-store or online. The data on this graph over a 10-year period from 2006 to 2016 shows that Kohl's has steadily lost popularity with millennials. Of these millennial customers, the largest decrease occurred amongst females. The Kohl's store layout and experience is no different than that of any large department store. There are no lifestyle images or signage present at Kohl's. Millennials demand a customer-centric shopping experience one tailored to their needs and wants. Kohl's experience is conservative and targets families. In Kohl's, customers just come in, find what they want, buy it, and then leave. There is no reason to hang out or tweet about what's cool. There is no compelling reason beyond shopping for Kohl's merchandise to come back weekly to shop. Kohl's social media footprint is not as large as Forever 21. Kohl's Instagram site does not target products to millennials but targets middle-aged people and has just over 1 million followers. Forever 21, however, has over 16 million followers on its Instagram site. Forever 21 consumers also are far more active with more likes, comments, than Kohl's customers who have far lower engagement. Kohl's need to drive the customer buying experience and become a better technology company. Today if you go to their Facebook site and click on a product to buy, it is often out of stock. Frustrating experiences such as these do not build customer loyalty and can result in customers going elsewhere to shop. Millennials today seek out experiences or pure transactional engagements. Kohl's need to reimagine the shopping experience in the same way as other retailers. For example, Target has introduced a cafe that brews Starbucks coffee, offers a Pizza Hut menu and a lounge to relax. This will attract millennials who like to share what they are currently doing. Amazon has reimagined and reintroduced a brick and mortar bookstore that seeks to improve the customer checkout experience and captures customer satisfaction. Macy's cosmetic row features many store in store booths from Clinic, L'Oreal to Lancome, and more, providing many reasons to shop for cosmetics at Macy's versus other stores. Kohl's is not targeting millennials in its stores, online and mobile, but rather targets middle-aged customers. Kohl's needs to create campaigns that target millennials. This requires sourcing brands that drive millennial interest and engagement. Kohl's need to address this millennial gap or it risks losing relevance over time like Sears. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a Forever 21 clothing haul. What I Kohl's should seek YouTube influencers to raise awareness of Kohl's partnerships with brands that do social good. Increase the millennial traffic in-store, online, and the mobile would be signs of providing a better customer experience. Increasing Instagram followers shows rich and interest among millennials. Inventory management needs to be better managed through using technology.